All right, today we are going to do a new subject which is post camera technique. That is to say, we shoot the film, we take the picture, but the picture is not ready until we process it. And in this lecture today, we are going to see black and white process of a film. As we all know, when we expose a film, a latent image is formed on the film. Now, this image has to be developed and that is what we call developing an image. A process is different for a 35 millimeter film or 120 millimeter film. It is different for a sheet film and uh, even larger films, it is different. So, today we will concentrate ourselves only on developing a 35 millimeter film using a, a light tight bag and a daylight developing tank. To begin with, we have the light tight bag which can take the entire developing tank, the scissors and the film. Now, we will see it one by one. We first put the film inside which is most important. Then we put the scissors which is used for cutting the tongue of the film. Then we have this bag in uh, this box in parts. We can put them one by one. This is the container. This is the spiral. The spiral is the one which takes the film. The film moves into these grooves and it is put in such a way that the entire film is moving around this, but no ends touch with each other. Therefore, they are independent and when we put the chem chemicals inside, the chemicals touch the film in various parts, the entire film. Then we have the lid for the developing box, the developing tank, then the cover and of course, this is a security arrangement to ensure a light tightness of the bag. Then we zip it up. We ensure that no light goes into the bag and by putting the two arms inside, we, we cut the film, we remove it from the cassette and load it into the spiral. It is all possible, there is nothing, it, it just requires a bit of practice. This is the spiral in which I am, first I put the film and then I go on moving it and it moves automatically till the whole film is inside the spiral. At the end of the which we cut the cut cartridge from the spiral and the film is ready. Now, I put the film into the developing tank and then that secure the ring which ensures light tightness and then the lid and then the cover. Now, the film is loaded in the tank. We will just remove it. The film is inside this, it is loaded and now we can develop the image or the film. There are various kinds of black and white films available in the market. To name a few, we have Agfa Pan 25, we have Agfa Pan 400, we have Ilford FP4, Ilford FP5, Kodak Tri-X Pan, one of the best films that is available at 400 ASA and Kodak Very Chrome Pan. Now, these are some of the films that we use for black and white photography. To develop the film, we have various developers available to us. For example, D76 or ID11, then Agfa, Rodinal and Patterson, Ecutov. These are some of the famous developers which are used 
for developing a film. Now we see the basic method which is used for developing film and that is known as the time and temperature method. Now in the time and temperature method the, the duration for which the film will be developed and the temperature at which it will be developed is absolutely essential. We have seen thermometer for this which is maintain, which maintains the temperature of the developer. Developer temperature is absolutely it has to be as accurate as possible and if it is more than 18 degrees which is standard for the uh, development of the film then we have to compensate in terms of time. If it is less one should not normally process the film at less than 18 degrees centigrade. We have Ilford FP4 and the developer is D76. Now for D76 at 18 degrees centigrade we require a time of 6 to 8 and a half minutes for developing. Now we have to see few things when we start developing. First of all as soon as we put the developer inside we agitate it for 15 seconds and thereafter we keep it for 1 minute and then again for 10 seconds till we reach the scheduled time. Thereafter the film the liquid inside the film is removed that is the developer is removed and the second process that is stop bath that is used in which we put the second chemical that is stop bath which is basically water and we keep it for one minute. During that period also we agitate the entire one minute we agitate the developing tank and then we throw away the water and finally we have the fixer. Now fixer is put into the uh, developing tank and after agitation you can keep it and the timing for fixer is 4 minutes. So we keep it for 4 minutes and then after that the tank can be opened and the fixer can be reused while we uh, do not use the developer a second time it is thrown away water is of course thrown away the fixer can be reused. Some people who are very professional they may not use it again but mostly it is found that the fixer by virtue of its uh, uh, what you call uh, density or what you call the strength it can be reused. After 4 minutes we can remove the fixer and take out the film and check it. Whether it is okay or not nothing can be done at this stage because the film is fixed. But if you follow the process properly the time and the temperature method properly and the film has been exposed correctly then you will always get a good negative for reproducing prints. After the film is developed it is kept under a running water for about half an hour so that the entire chemicals wash out. Once that has been done you can take a squeezy or you can take a cotton within, between your fingers and wipe the entire film and remove the entire water content after which the film can be hung for drying up. It is allowed to dry up for uh, uh, say for the whole night and if you are in a hurry to dry it up then you use the blower that is the ones which is used by ladies or otherwise also um, and then you can wrap the film. Sometimes these films uh, are developed in one minute time also depending upon the requirement of the, of the client but the process is different, the entire sequence is different, the drying process is different. Normally if you have a drying chamber then it takes 20 minutes to wrap the film. This is as far as developing a 35 millimeter film is concerned. Once again the basic point to note is that we use time and temperature method. We prefer to use it at 18 degrees centigrade and the entire process is in a sequence whereby we use chemicals, we use the stop bath and we use fixer in the proper sequence thereafter rinsing it and then keeping it for drying. After the film is dried it is ready then we cut it into strips. 
now I am going to show you how a single film is developed in a tank. Now, we first remove the this chemical is at 18 degrees centigrade and it is 350 ml for one roll. For two rolls, we require 700 milliliter and for three rolls, we require one liter of chemical. Similarly, one liter of water and also one liter of fixer. For one, we are going to see it now and we pour it gradually. It is never poured in a hurry so that it gradually moves and it will never come to the top of the developing tank. Our time begins now. We cover it up and we agitate for 15 seconds. During this period, the chemical is touching all the spiral, the entire spiral and thereby the entire surface of the film. So that whenever these chemicals, they start uh, the silver halides which detaching from the film, they are not stuck on the film itself and they are placed at different points. Now, we rest it for 1 minute and after 1 minute, we again agitate it for this time 10 seconds and agitation is like this. So, so that the entire chemical is used. Then we agitate for 10 seconds. The idea is that the chemicals that have detached from the film, they remain uniformly along the chemical uh, along the developer and thereby the development of the film is uniform. This continues till 6 minutes as we have seen it is a undiluted D76 chemical at 18 degrees centigrade. After 6 minutes are over we can open the lid and throw away the developer. Now having thrown away the developer, we are now going to use stop bath portion of the developing. Same thing as we did for the developer, it has to be poured gradually and in a constant flow. Stop bath is for 1 minute and it is continuously agitated during this period for the entire one minute and then it is thrown, it is not kept for any other use. Having finished with this top bath, we will now add fixer to the film in the same way as we did for other two processes. We close the lid. Having poured the fixer into the developing tank, we agitate it for 15 seconds and then keep it for 1 minute and after 1 minute again, we agitate for 15 seconds and again after 1 minute, this continues until 4 minutes are over. After which, the lid is removed and the fixer is poured into another uh, container and we have to now rinse the film for half an hour under running water. At this stage, we can open the developing tank since the film is fixed and we can keep it under the tap and let it continue for half an hour. Once it has been done, we remove the film and we can dry up the film by using the squeegee or by even taking cotton between the two fingers and running it 
smoothly along the entire length of the film so that no droplets are left on the film and the film is allowed to dry up in the dryer or maybe in the open. If it is in the dryer then 20 minutes is the time at a particular temperature that is 20 degrees centigrade and if it is outside then you can keep it in the open and it can be kept for the whole night. If you are in a hurry to dry up the film then it can be done in one minute also by using a, a blower, a warm blower and the film is ready for producing prints. Here is a glimpse of the film which has been developed. Now, as far as uh, sheet films are concerned, their process is different in which case the film is processed through different tanks and it is moved from one tank to the other. The film is moved and it is done in absolute darkness. Then we also have the tray processing in which it is not like this because there is no daylight developing tank there and you have to control the processing under different light conditions. Black and white films besides being negative films are also there which are in the form of slide films. The slide films have a different chemical process to be used and those films are basically used for making black and white films otherwise or slides. Otherwise mostly the black and white negative films are going out of fashion particularly in, our, in this part of the world and whatever films are available there are processes and mostly what happens is that the negative film the color negative film is used it is processed in the color in the lab and then the prints can be made in the gray tones that is to say black and white tones. In today's short lecture we have tried to explain to you the complete process of the development of a black and white negative film, the time and temperature method, the importance of agitation, the rinsing and drying of the film. The point to note once again is that the time and temperature method is the mother of this process. If you follow it properly and if the film is properly exposed you will always get top class results with which in the end will produce top class prints.